Hello, welcome everyone to our channel where we present lessons in mathematics. Okay, in this presentation, we want to deal with the 2024 GC paper two. Uh, basically, we want to look at mensulation. In this case, we want to look at um, a cone and specifically the volume of the thrustum of a cone. Okay. Please, I would encourage you that you subscribe to Kamban Piri, JM, um, and Chaomba Mbondo. Okay, these are our channels. All right. Let's see. And also, in case you want to contact us for lessons, 0978 56 58 76. All right, then uh, 0979 uh, 738809. This is a question that we have. We are saying the diagram, uh, the figure diagram below is the first term of a cone. Okay. The base radius is the two centimeters. The top radius is R centimeters. Okay. And the height is 3.6. We take pi as 3.142. Okay. Now, uh, I must mention that if you look at this, this cone, uh, this first term, it came from a cone. That's why we are saying it's a first term of a cone. Okay, it came from a, a cone. Hence, we are calling it the first term of a cone. So you may have a cone like this. Okay, maybe let me try to draw it better. <clears throat> yeah, maybe suppose this was the cone that we had Then this is extended like this. Okay. So suppose this was our original cone. Okay. Uh, yeah. Suppose this was the case. All right. Then we remove the top part. Okay. We remove the, the top part. So in short, we are saying, suppose we extended, we created a cone from here. So suppose we did this, that's what we are talking about. So we have that this is two centimeters and that the height here is 3.6 and that here, that is our, our radius. Now, the question is to create the, the, the value of the radius if the height of the cone from which the first term was made was six. So what that means that from here up to there, it is six, this, this height up to here. Okay. This is this six. All right. But we already have that uh, from this point up to here, it is three, 3.6. So to find this, we are going to say 6 minus 3.6 and we get 2.4. So it means the height of this smaller cord from here up to there, the height of this smaller cord is 2.4. Okay, that's what we have. Then to find now the 
the ratio, I mean the radius rather, we use the concept of the, um, the ratios of similarity, okay? That the, 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 the height of this smaller cone on top is 2.4. Okay, that's what we are going to use. Okay, I'll do it from here. So the height of the smaller cone divided by the height of the bigger cone, the ratio must be equal to the radius of the smaller cone to the radius of the bigger cone. Okay, so this is the expression that's supposed to use because the ratio must be the same. Then we replace. So the radius here, um, the height rather, the height of the smaller cone is 2.4. 2.4. Then the height of the entire cone is 6. The radius of the smaller cone is unknown. Then the radius of the, of the bigger cone is 2 centimeters. All right. Then we... To find this radius, we cross multiply. So we have got six times the radius being what 2.4 times two. So we divide by the radius as six. We divide by six. Uh, this implies that our radius will be equal to so 2.4 times two, that is 4.8. All right. Then you divide that by six. Okay, divided by six, you get your radius as 0 0.8. So this is the answer here, okay? So the radius here is 0 0.8 in short, here. The radius here is 0 0.8, okay? We have just used the concept of uh, similarity or similar figures. So now we want to find the volume of a first term. Okay, so we we'll come up with a general formula that volume is equal to the height divided by three, the area of the top part plus the area of the bottom part plus the square root of area one divided by area two, we close. Now, what is this? We can say this top here is a circle. The top part is a circle. So we'll say, find the area of that one. The bottom part is equal to a circle, so we find the area of that. So the area of a, um, of a circle is pi r squared, right? So we'll take our pi at 3.142, then radius 0 0.8, okay? So we are going to say uh, a1 is pi r squared. So a1 is equal to 3.142, times the radius is 0 0.8 squared. So A1, you work it out, 3.142 times 0 0.8 squared. So when you plug it on your calculator, you get 2.01088. Okay. Then we say A2, the same. So we say 3.142, uh, the radius there is two squared. Uh, maybe we can go back to it. So you can see that the radius for this one is um, two. So what do we have? Um, so 3.142, uh, multiplied by 2 squared, which is 4. So we have got 12.568. Then our height, the height for the first term now is not 6, but 3.6. This is the height of the first term. 3.6. So we say our height is 3.6. Then we substitute in the formula. So we say our volume is equal to 3.6 divided by 3, open bracket, uh, 
plus a2 is 12.568 plus the square root of 2. Point, uh, 0, 1, 0, 8, 8 times 12.568. So the starting point is you multiply what is under the root here, okay? So I'll multiply 2.0108 when I multiply, I'm getting 25.27, uh, 27, all right? I'm getting something like that, just under the root here, 25.27273984. Now I must find its square root direct, all right? So when you find the square root, you get under the root here, you will get, 5.0272. Then we add it to these two numbers. So plus 12.5 uh 12.568 plus 2.01088. What do I get in terms of the sum? 19.6 Zero six zero eight. Okay, this is what you get inside here. When we work it out, you can verify this. So you have three point six over three. Then inside here, there is nineteen point six zero six zero eight. So how do we get this one? You multiply by three point six, then divide it by three. Okay, so times three point six. You get 70.58888 from this value divided by three direct. Yeah, so your volume is equal to 23.5. Uh, two, seven, two, nine, six, um, cubic centimeters, all right? So now we round it off to three significant figures. So we'll have one, two, three. So we take this as zero, zero plus five is five. So we have 23.5 cubic centimeters as your, your volume. Yeah, that is how you find the, the volume of the frustum. Please subscribe our channels right and what are these channels number one company theory jm number two chaomba mbondo and please contact us for lessons 0978 56 58 76 we have currently reduced the, the, the prices from 500 kwacha per month, mathematics only to 300 kwacha because of the, the current effects that uh, we are having, the current economical challenges. So we want to help our people as well. All right, we want to be part of the solution. So please, you can't afford this chance. Otherwise, by the time you realize it will be this much. Till next time, bye-bye and God bless.